Um, so, so, so uh, you were being trained in chiropractic yes. school, right? Yes. And then was that when you got the implant? No. So I had breast implants prior to chiropractic school. Okay. I started suffering severe health issues right about nine months after getting breast implants, and my primary problems were musculoskeletal problems, like severe pain and fatigue in the in the muscles and joints. So I started researching health programs and. Uh, I, I really thought I knew nothing about health and I thought chiropractic school is where you learn everything about muscles and joints and that's my primary issue so I'm going to go to that program. And then when I got into the program, I quickly realized that those interventions didn't help my pain at all. Like it mm. made no, and, and then I was watching people around me with pain getting adjusted and getting acupuncture and learning about muscle patterns and they were getting out of pain. So it was really confusing. and. Um, luckily within my program there are a lot of people doing functional medicine and training people on basically internal medicine uh, there's a program within chiropractic called chiropractic internist which is basically internal medicine study and learning about the metabolic causes of pain and I started learning that there's many different pathways for pain related to blood sugar and diabetes and inflammation and gut health and you know parasitic infections and um, you know, more things that are not coming to mind right now. And then, lo and behold, of course, like the exposure to toxic chemicals like mercury and how mercury affects the nervous system and the nerves that come out of the, the you know, the brain and the spinal cord. You know, uh, so, so yeah, so over time studying the biochemistry of toxicokinetics and, and understanding the ingredients in pharmaceutical grade silicone that include, you know, mercury and lead and arsenic and platinum and aluminum and other and other a lot of chemicals so yeah are are these chemicals contained in the silicone or, or, or silicone is completely different set of chemicals yeah no those are all contained in the silicone so uh, why would they put those chemicals in the silicone right it's a good question so the best answer I could say is because in the 90s we had a lot of problems with silicone being migratory and in my naive understanding of silicone in the early days, I thought silicone was similar to silica, which is similar to sand, and I thought it was like a natural thing, and that's mm. probably, oh, well, that's why this medical device is made out of that, because it's natural, right? Because mm. that's our, uh, we just assume that they would think that way. <laughs> but uh, really, I think what was happening was there was a big problem in the 90s with silicone breaking apart, and it would, you know, move down the rib cage, and so there was a huge lawsuit. Um, that Dow Corning, which was the manufacturer of silicone, lost the lawsuit, and there was a lot of money paid out to women, and the FDA pulled sil silicone filled implants from the market in, mm -hmm. in 92, I believe it was 92. And after many, like a couple decades, uh, two companies did reformulation on their implants, mm -hmm. and their primary thing was to show cohesiveness. So they showed the FDA and, and even consumers, like, look, you can run this implant over with a car, and it won't break apart. Because in, in their perspective, that was all that mattered was the cohesiveness. So mm -hmm. I think that that created the need for more chemicals in the formulation. and. And I see. Without or tinkering with it. Yeah, without. So, so yeah, I don't think they're rupturing like they used to, but I mean, no, they, I know they're not rupturing like they used to, but now we're seeing kind of a rise of other types of issues. Mm. And it parallels with our world becoming more toxic, right? So we're yeah. seeing more pollution and more gene degradation through the generations, right? Yeah. As, as being children born of parents exposed to chemicals. And so it's.